Hey guys. So, got the kayak down in the water. This is Lake Havasu, Arizona. About 5, 5.30 in the morning. And I'm about to finally put this kayak into the water. I'm pretty sure everything should go pretty well. The water is very smooth this morning. It's very humid today. Kind of cloudy. I'm probably just going to roll through the channel. I'm not sure if any rain's about to come or not, but when I get back, I'll give you guys a, a basic review of the kayak. Mostly for beginners though, because obviously I'm a beginner kayaker and I, I'm pretty sure that this kayak is, is mostly for beginners. I mean, there's more expensive high-end kayaks out there obviously for, for the pro or advanced or even uh, intermediate uh, kayakers but this I mean the looks of the kayaker are, are looks professional but uh, like I said I think it was it's only like a three four hundred dollar kayak so um, I'll see how it performs and, and give you a, a beginner's view of the kayak picked up a bunch of trash in the water, a lot of uh, plastic. I'm uh, not a big fan of the plastic, but um, dirty, dirty this morning on the channel. Some people that come here just really don't care. They just leave the trash along the beach edge and, you know, the ducks get into it and they're close to fish. They don't care. Um, so, so far, so good. I mean, I'm keeping it somewhat straight. It's, it's kind of going back and forth. I think that's probably normal. Tell me if I'm wrong uh, for a beginner. I, I, I feel like if I lean back and just relax and just slowly go, I can get a good flow going. But I think it's going to take some time and take some muscle memory. So uh, I'm going to keep going here for a while. And See how it goes. It's a little windy, so I hope you can hear me okay. So the trip went well. Uh, like I said, this is more of a beginner's type review of this kayak. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure the kayak is a beginner's type kayak. Uh, I, this is the only kayak that I've ever been in, so I don't have much to uh, um, say about others in comparison, obviously. So. I, I can say that this is an extremely well made kayak for a beginner. I, I, overall, I think it's, it's, it's got the wide opening, it's got the padded seats, it's very comfortable. I mean, I haven't gone out that long in it. Maybe, I think I, think I went out just for like a half an hour, maybe almost 45 minutes. Um, but the seats felt very comfortable uh, other than the back of the seat and I had it two, two ways I had it pulled tight with this strap so it comes up but then it like digs into the side of your the, the, bottom, the lower part of your back like right around the kidneys and it just sits there and it, it digs in you but I'm I'm not sure if my my positioning is right when I'm paddling, so I, I'm trying to lean back a little. But when I sit up, it feels good. I, it's it's I don't know. I think this is just for basic support, not for like leaning back in. If you're gonna lean back, I, w I think I would recommend loosening this up and just going all the way back, and then just really leaning back if you wanted to do it that way. Um, 
I personally think that uh, I, I don't know the proper form of paddling, but sitting straight up, or maybe you guys can tell me, sitting straight up or uh, leaning back, is it, what, what is the proper way to do it? I don't know. Um, I was able to get into my little storage bin here while I was paddling. I just would reach back with one hand and just flop it open like that. So, I mean, just like that, it's still dirty from when I went camping. Um, and then my phone's back here in, in, its, in its case. And I was able to take a picture uh, of the bridge, which was kind of cool to have that storage thing. I think you could probably put a dry liner in this or something. It looks like it has some kind of edge for a liner, maybe for a dry bag or something. Um, obviously I didn't go fishing, but it's got the fishing pole holders, which might be kind of fun, I think. It's not much of a fishing kayak, but uh, yeah, it, it was... It was a good little trip. I'm looking forward to taking it a little further. Obviously got a little windy too. Uh, from when I first started, it was total glass pretty much. Um, I noticed on this side it had the uh, bungee cord on the side. I don't know if you can see that. I'm pretty sure that's for an anchor, but tell me if I'm wrong. And if anybody knows what that's for, let me know. Um, and it's got the bungee cord up here for more storage of whatever you want. Uh, I put the GoPro mount there, obviously. You guys saw that. Got two screws right here. That's for the uh, foot pe or foot pegs, <laughs> whatever they're called, foot mounts. Um, can anybody tell me what the proper length for the foot mounts are. I, I feel comfortable. I mean, my knees are slightly bent. Uh, my knees come up just a little over the edge and I just kind of lean them up against this pad, carrying pad. And it seems pretty comfortable to me. Yeah. I, I, oh, the, uh, the oar it came with. I think I would like to get a lighter or if they make one something out of graphite maybe i'm sure there's something out of graphite and it, I, I i don't mind this one it's it does feel kind of heavy um probably a good thing for a beginner maybe to help with your muscle memory and stuff um these are starting to come in but uh yeah i'd like to think i would like to get something lighter and when i can um what else was I going to say? I think that's it, pretty much. Uh, very easy to carry because it's very light. Uh, yeah, that's it, man. Pelican Cove 100 XP. Nice little boat. Um, Next time I take it camping and maybe do a little fishing, I'll, I'll do another review for fishing. Let's see how that goes. Uh, yeah.